Autumn was arriving to the island of Sodor, and the engines watched as clear summer skies turned to cloudy gray days, and leaves from green to yellow and brown. During this time, work along the railway lines to repair and maintain carried on. Percy and Toby usually helped the work with them, but during autumn, goods traffic also increased, so they were kept very busy. The back controller sent Emily to do passenger work to help them. But Emily found the maintenance work annoying. Oh, why does the back controller insist on having maintenance work done? When I'm on passenger duties, on branch lines, delays could be constant. Ten minutes was how long they held me up, and for what? Trees! It's important work. Their branches grow out too much, could be a disaster. Besides, those trees are there for a good reason. What would that be, eh? Useful for keeping the winds at bay. Golden's Hill was once barren, but those trees you see now keep the winds from the sea in check, as the ones do here. That's silly. We're protected by mountains. What good do the trees serve? What I just mentioned. Plus, they're good for keeping the earth in check. Without them, it'd be chaos. What he said. Anyways, it do you well to respect trees. They're just as powerful as engines. That'll be rich. Overgrown plants, a lot of them. Good night. The night brought strong winds and heavy rains, which lasted for several days. I knew trees were trouble. Branches all over the tracks. Leaves to make them slippery? No good for me buffers! But no one paid her any mind. One rainy day, Percy and Toby were too busy to help to work, leaving them to travel around by van. The weather was very windy and the rain that morning had been a storm. What a soup we find ourselves in. Oh, just shut it and get this over with! Misery to shit. So great a death of me! Woo! I'd hate to be vulnerable like that in this time for weather. As if he forgot the time he nearly slid past a red signal! Or how he slipped because he forgot to ask for his sandboxes to be refilled. The station master at the hold at Hackenfeld was growing concerned. The men were already 30 minutes behind schedule. The van was close to arrival. The road swung next to a hill where on the other side laid the railway. Van and the driver forgot how slick the roads were as they attempted the radius. Deciding <coughs> to brush the incident under, the men went on. So, uh, what's the problem? Ugh, I'm a bit worried about the bridge with all this rain and wind. I can see why it'd be a bit of wood and all that. Right, we better get going whilst there's time. Time was what Emily was feeling annoyed about back at Farquhar. She was a guaranteed connection with Bert, and he was running late. Come on, come on! Where's that Bertie when you need him? It's a storm, you know. Wind blew branches all over the road. Even a whole tree. <laughs> Bringing it down to a tree to cause delays like this. The whole notion of it. I'd rather hope to perhaps burn them all down myself. That's enough of that. Just you concentrate on your train. 
I can do that easily with my eyes shut. As men went about their inspection, they all failed to observe the weather. Sounds! things were troublesome. What's happening? Thank goodness this tree stopped you. We were worried we wouldn't be able to warn you in time. Warn us about what? Get a load of what's ahead. <gasps> it's the bridge. It's gone. Thank the tree. The bus was brought up from Nafford to take Emily's passengers away, whilst Toby came along to salvage Emily. Speed I heard you going at. I'm not surprised you got into a situation like this. Oh, shut it! It could have been worse if it wasn't for the... Yes. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Saving you from a river. Not bad for overgrown plants, huh? 